Utrecht changed part of its ring road into this. A bit further south, this is what the road used to look like. And here too, there is now less space for the car, more for people and green. Where there were two car lanes in each direction, there is now only one. Intersections could be redesigned, without traffic signals. And cycling infrastructure was upgraded. Where possible, there are now bi-directional cycleways on either side of the street. While the city tries to discourage travelling by car, there is more room for public transport. Some maps still show the Utrecht inner ring road as a complete ring. Google no longer does, which reflects the current situation better. Part of the so-called Western Boulevard is in transformation. Meinigslaan and St. Joseph Laan are almost finished. Cartesiusweg is under construction. Two intersections that relied on traffic signals to make things safer have now become a so-called priority square, Vorangsplein. This was tested on another part of the former ring road in 2016. It was not an instant success. Due to its compact size, people mistook it for a roundabout, which has a different priority arrangement, resulting in a lot of near crashes and some real ones. The city modified the original design so people understand how it works better. That elongated Priority Square 2.0 was now implemented here too. People arriving from one of the side streets need a gap in traffic to get onto the main road. But sometimes there's too much traffic on that main priority road. Detection loops in the street surface, as well as on the cycleways, detect that waiting traffic. A single traffic light then stops the traffic on the main road. So people in the side streets get their much needed gap in traffic and they can get moving again. That the road is no longer for through traffic also becomes apparent from the signs showing directions. Places outside the city are no longer mentioned. Some may wonder where did all the traffic go? Certainly not into the streets directly around the ring road. Those streets form a maze of one-way streets and dead ends, simply unusable for through traffic. And there are many natural borders, like this park and a railway. Some drivers may have taken the bike or public transport as the city hopes, or they have stopped making their journey by working from home. Other drivers may have realized that the detour on the motorways around the city may be longer in distance, but takes less time. The new road design has clearly led to lower speeds. The speed limit is 50 km per hour here, but I saw no one going faster. Not even when the road was clear. Crossing this road was dangerous and difficult. You had to wait long for a gap in traffic. Thanks to lower speeds and fewer car lanes, it has become much easier and safer to cross. Extra crossing locations were added as well. The city clearly wants to make the former ring road attractive. Lots of new greenery was planted and many, many new trees. Some of the green has yet to arrive. During rush hour, motor traffic does stand still every now and then. But that is mostly because of the ongoing roadworks at Cartesiusweg. And possibly also because some motorists have yet to understand that this is no longer their through route.